Imagine walking into a store and instead of a bored employee pointing somewhere, a full-size humanoid robot glides over, waves, and literally dances you to the right shelf. Not clunky, not awkward. Smooth, TikTok ready, celebrity collab smooth. That shift is happening right now. We are moving from robots that barely walk to embodied AI that can work, talk, learn, and even perform live on stage at CES with Jensen Huang. One of the most interesting companies driving that shift is Agibot Humanoid Robots. And yes, the dance matters. The Wong Hetty and Agibot Robot dance clip is not just a fun internet moment. It is a signal. What you are seeing there is a full-size humanoid robot keeping rhythm, balance, posture, and timing alongside a human performer, on camera, under pressure. That alone separates this generation of robots from the old era of stiff demos and scripted movements. This is embodied AI showing personality, fluidity, and confidence. Now put that next to what happened at CES 2026. According to Agibot's official post, Jensen Huang highlighted Agibot at CES 2026 as the only Chinese humanoid or embodied robot representative he specifically recognized. In a keynote packed with AI platforms, partners, and hardware announcements, being singled out like that is not accidental. It is a combination of technical credibility and stage presence. In my opinion, that moment says a lot about where the industry thinks real progress is coming from. Let's ground this in hard data. According to Omdia's latest general purpose embodied robot market radar, global humanoid robot shipments reached around 13,000 units in 2025. Out of those, more than 5,100 units came from Agibot's humanoid robot line. That translates to roughly a 39% global market share, ranking number one worldwide in both shipments and market share. This is not a lab experiment. This is large-scale hardware deployment in a category most people still think is futuristic. So what is Agibot actually building? Their focus is general-purpose humanoid robots, not single-task machines. Their current lineup includes A2 and X2, which are bipedal humanoids in full-size and half-size formats, and G2, which uses wheels for mobility with a humanoid upper body for interaction and manipulation. Across all of them, Agibot designs its own motors and dexterous hands. That vertical integration matters because embodied AI only works when hardware and software evolve together. On the intelligence side, Agibot built its own embodied foundation model called G01. Based on the official article, G01 combines a vision language model with a mixture of experts' architecture. One component, the latent planner, handles high-level understanding of actions learned from human-operated and cross-embodiment data. The other component, the action expert, focuses on high-frequency control like fingers, joints, and precise manipulation. In simple terms, one layer decides what to do, the other executes it in the real world. In December 2025, they expanded this with a model called Whole Body VLA. This is a full body control and manipulation foundation model that coordinates arms, legs, torso, and balance as one system. It supports imitation learning, few shot generalization, and continuous self-learning. This is exactly the kind of system you need if you want a robot to learn from a dance video today and adapt to service or industrial tasks tomorrow without rebuilding everything from scratch. That brings us back to the dance clip. The reason that choreography works is because of LinkCraft, AGBot's low-code motion capture and imitation learning platform. A user records a human performing an action using a smartphone, uploads the video, and AGBot's system maps that motion onto the robot automatically. No hand-coded trajectories, no deep robotics background required. For creators and developers, that dramatically lowers the barrier to teaching robots new skills. For more advanced teams, AGBot offers Genie Studio. This is a full embodied AI development environment covering data collection, annotation, model libraries, fine tuning, simulation, and deployment. If you are a company deploying humanoids into factories, retail spaces, or public venues, tooling like this matters far more than a single viral demo. AGBot is also leaning heavily into openness. AGBot World is their open source dataset containing 1 million trajectories collected from 100 robots, 
totaling nearly 3,000 hours of real robot action data. It covers more than 200 task types and 87 atomic skills. High quality embodied data is usually locked inside companies, so making this public is a big move for the broader robotics and AI ecosystem. This is already translating into real deployments. According to the official article, Agibot shipped more than 5,000 robots in 2025 alone. One concrete example is their work with China Mobile, where robots are deployed as guides in flagship exhibition halls. These are not isolated pilots. They are active in 30 major service centers and more than 50 outdoor pop-up stores across 22 cities. That means real people, real crowds, and real-world interaction at scale. They are also expanding into industrial manufacturing, supply chain, education, and media and entertainment. The entertainment side is not just marketing. In my opinion, putting a robot on stage with a celebrity is a stress test. Timing, balance, synchronization, and human-robot interaction all have to work perfectly, live, with no room for error. Zooming out, the industry curve here is extreme. Omdia forecasts general-purpose embodied intelligent robots growing from around 3,000 units in 2024 to about 2.6 million units by 2035. That is one of the steepest growth trajectories in any hardware category. Chinese vendors are leading this push by scaling production early, and Agibot is clearly positioned in the top tier. One idea I find especially compelling is Agibot's one robotic body, three intelligences approach. The same physical robot can run different intelligence layers like Go1, Whole Body VLA, and Future Models. The body stays the same, but the brain evolves. In my opinion, that is how humanoid robots become long-term platforms rather than disposable machines. Are there challenges left? Of course. Fully autonomous, truly general-purpose robots are still emerging. Most deployments today are in structured or semi-structured environments, and long-term reliability over years of daily use still has to be proven. But when you look at scale, in-house AI models, developer tools, open data, and real deployments, Agibot checks a lot of the boxes that actually matter. And when you add the fact that, according to Agibot's official post, Jensen Huang specifically highlighted them at CES 2026, it becomes clear this is not just a viral dance moment. This is a company positioning itself as a serious platform for embodied AI. If you want to understand how we get from a dancing humanoid on stage to robots working alongside people in stores, factories, and public spaces, Agibot is absolutely worth watching.